Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more Watch With Mighty, My Hero Academia, we're in episode 109, titled Revival Party. Um, first of all, I'm recording this later in the day than I normally do, I usually stay up till 2.30am to record these, but last night I went to bed feeling like absolute shit, I had a headache, and my body just felt like trash. I woke up feeling more or less the same way, and I'm starting to feel a little bit better, I don't know, it was like a a very strong head cold that hit me last night. Um, so I, I debated recording this today or not, but uh, I am feeling better. Um, so if I do sound a little bit like down th this episode, that's why. But I've, I'm really excited to watch the episode. So don't get me wrong. I just want to give a heads up as to why it's later than normal. Um, so yeah, this episode, uh, I'm really excited for it. Um, before we begin and start talking about this episode, though, I want to address some things that have been going on the last week. I'll only do this once because I just want to get my thoughts on it and move on. Um, so th this last week there has been a lot of backlash and, you know, theories of amongst fans about like how they feel about how NBA, the first episode was adapted and that you have people complaining and then some people are calling it trash. There's a lot of toxicity going around right now. You know, like, there's YouTube creators who are thriving on it. There's people on Twitter who are arguing with each other. And I just want to say right here, right now, I'm not moving forward. Really not going to talk about that stuff too much. Uh, by all means, in the comments, if you guys want to talk about it, totally cool. Uh, personally, I'm going to kind of leave that out of my videos moving forward. Um, I, I'll, I'll just say my piece right here that uh, do you enjoy this show? Do you truly enjoy watching My Hero Academia? If the answer is no, then don't watch it, I guess. And if the answer is yes, then just kind of go along for the ride. Like, people take things way too seriously. At the end of the day, no matter what you think about the anime, we still have the manga. And the manga, to me, the source material, is so damn good that it's hard for anything to like live up to it. That's just how good Horikoshi is. Um, so with that being said, I, I so greatly enjoy, um, this, this show. And I just, I just want people to be less like, I don't know, hateful, you know, like taking blame out on, on studio bones and just a bunch of nonsense, you know? So, uh, yeah, uh, this episode should be great. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, this episode's going to focus on Toga, um, well, not focus on her, but a lot of this stuff's going to be involved with Toga. I reread the stuff in the manga because... Uh, we'll get to the episode in a second. I'm sorry I'm taking so long here. Um, in the manga, I never really truly understood what they were going for with Toga's character. I still don't. It's like the one thing that I truly don't have a grasp on in my mind. And while the stuff in the manga is great, like the stuff she does is really entertaining. And like this is going to be an awesome episode, I'm sure. I never really got a sense of what her character direction was, you know? So I'm curious to see if seeing it brought to life in the anime can make me feel different. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's go in three, two, one, start. Mm-hmm. The man who'll destroy the planet. What a great cult that is. Wow. That's crazy that like they just like straight up say it like that. <laughs> oh yeah the famous elpos liberation whoa whoa it's all right ah still love this intro 
so yeah, um, again, uh, I think like a day or two ago, I actually reread this section of the manga because in my mind, I want to, I want to see if it helps me understand the context. Like when I, when I say I don't understand Toka's character, I just don't get her trajectory. Like what is her end game? What is, what is it she truly wants? I've never really understood that. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Um, literally the only character in the entire series that I personally don't fully understand. And I'm not the biggest, I was never the biggest Toga fan. And I know a lot of people are. She's got that wacky, crazy design. She's a cute schoolgirl, all that. Uh, I get that. Um, but uh, I don't know that that's not really my cup of tea. So for me, if she wants to win me over as a character, it has to be through the story and like her actions and stuff, not just like design. Um, and to that end, she's she's fine. Amongst the League of Villains. Uh, Twice is definitely number one. Uh, number two, Shigaraki. I'm not a big Dobby fan, but that's a meme in my Discord. Link in the description, by the way, if you want to join the Discord. Dobby's a little punk ass bitch. But, uh. Oh, nice. Recreated that shot. <laughs> Hour and 40 minutes. <sighs> oh, nice. Oh, this guy again. The Peter Griffin. For anyone who doesn't know, people will call this guy Peter Griffin. He just kind of looks like him a little bit. He looks more so like him in the manga than a uh, little gnat flying around. Get out of here. He looks a little more like that in the manga, but he just still kind of looks like that here. So yeah, we're now in Deka City. The uh, area of that tragedy that happened. Oh, by the way, I love Curious's design. As you guys know, Mina is the best girl to me. And I, this girl has like that same kind of thing where it's like a colored skin with the black eyes. Just awesome. Oh, shit. Right into it. Revival party. Oh. This song, this, this is a good OST already. Tiny bang. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I didn't know she was blue in the manga, by the way. I only found out a few weeks ago that she's actually blue and it makes me love her even more. I love that. I just love like the colored skin. I don't know. It's cool. <laughs> ha <laughs> that sound. All right. Okay. Cutting to Jiran and uh, Redestro. Yeah, that's true. The the white ones are pretty weak. I'm pretty sure most of the students of like class one A can take on a oh the white nomo. Right. 
Redestro is a smart, very smart man. He puts things together very well. Oh, whoa. Yeah, okay. Whoa, that guy, what does that guy have, like, cloths? Oh, uh, you're so pretty. Curious. <laughs> oh, they recreated that shot well. Hmm. Oh, nice. Whoa, that guy's got like a dinosaur head. What the heck? Oh, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nice. Landmine. Pretty cool ability, honestly. You can do a lot of stuff with that. Whoa, Chicken Man! Just send the Peter Griffin guy in here, they'll start fighting. Whoa! That was cool. Oh, yeah. She detonated the blood, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> In the manga, only one of the other guys exploded, not all of them. In this one, they just blew them all up. Oh, shit. Wow. This music is really good. Great OST for this episode. Oh, she looks adorable right there. I'm glad that I'm glad they kept the scene in. This is back before she was like a, a crazy liberation member. How does she become insane? You're acting kind of insane, too. Okay, nice. <laughs> so I love you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, nice. That's great. That was great. That was a great shot. <laughs> so far, it's a good episode. I'm liking it. I have some comments to make at the end, but. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh god, this scene. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, it's so stupidly crazy. Just sucking blood from that man like with the straw. Oh, oh, the bird scene. Hmm. 
Look at some of the designs of these people. <laughs> I, okay, nice. So, Oh shit. Wow. It it really good so far. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh shit, yeah. That's, her power is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Whoa! Wow, that shot. They, they straight up like painted that. What? Well done. I don't like her. Oh shit. Who's she transforming into? <laughs> Whoa, that guy should up shooting lasers out of his hand. Wow, the voice actors are killing it in this episode. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, nice shot. That's a great shot. This music is so good in this episode, too. Holy shit. It's like half and half voice. That's I wonder if they got uh Ochako to voice that with her. That'd be really cool. There we go. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> wow. Well done. I like that. That was that was really good. Dude, her voice actor killed it. That was amazing. I don't understand Japanese, but I mean, they sounded amazing. Really passionate. Oh, okay. 
I'm really curious how they're going to do this. I'm, I... Okay. All right. I'm curious. Okay. Hmm. Oh, then he starts throwing up. All right. Uh, we'll talk about that at the end. Huh. Can't say that was the best it could have been. Oh, Jet uh, Jetan versus Davi. Okay, we're getting that this too. Or at least like the beginning of it. I guess that's true. Yeah, I guess he is the only one with the range attack. It melts ice. Yeah. I love the voice for the guy for Jet Town. It's pretty cool. It's like very, it's very chill and like the pun, pun definitely intended, I guess. It controls ice. Whoa. <clears throat> Whoa, it's like an ice dragon. Oh shit. Yeah, don't burn your teammates. Oh shit. Oh my god. I can't wait for uh I'll talk about it in a second. <laughs> I love him so much. Dude, I love the voice actors in this episode. They're so damn good. I mean, they're always good, but man, I'm feeling it. Oh my god, dude. I think the next episode is like one of my most anticipated moments. Are you skeptic? Dude. Oh, 
Okay, real quick, I'm gonna check for post credit and then we'll watch the uh, watch the preview. Okay, so there's no post credit, but we'll watch the preview real quick. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my God! Sad Man's Parade. Yes. They actually named the episode "Sad Man's Parade." Oh yes. Okay. Really quick, I just want to say one of my, probably my second most anticipated moment from entire uh, NBA arc. Um, I love Sad Man's Parade. I I love Twice and Sad Man's Parade is. Mwah. Anyway. Um, so this episode, uh, honestly, really good episode. I do have a few notes, uh, in my head, uh, that scene where Shigaraki destroys that group of people running at him. That was kind of weak. Uh, now, and here's the thing we're going to, we're going to be diving into a lot of like people debating about, uh, censorship and stuff. Reality is things will be censored because the source material is really graphic in MVA. Like I said, if you, if you, if you don't like this stuff, then please go read the manga because it's a little more like extreme in some cases, but that, that scene was, I I, I don't like, I, I don't know. Like it felt weird that they all just turned gray and like disintegrated. It makes me a little bit worried about some stuff coming up, but I just think that could have been done a little bit better. Um, I really liked the Toga scenes. I thought they were really beautiful and well animated. I actually really liked her dialogue against uh, Curious. I thought that was really well done. Um, the music in this episode was fantastic. Again, the voice acting was really noticeably amazing in this episode. It's always really solid, but this one was uh, exceptional. Um, I do think they, I maybe, okay, here's, here's the other thing. Uh, it's pretty clear at this point that we're not getting the Redestro commercial unless they somehow put it in at the end of the arc, but that'd be weird. Uh, not gonna lie. That's a bummer. That, that sucks. Uh, the commercial is really a really cool part of Redesto's character. And it is, it does suck if they do not put that in. Uh, as for the, the stuff that people were saying with Spinner getting cut, I don't think that is going to be cut. I legitimately do think that when it's his time to shine, we will get that stuff. Um, that's my, that's my firm belief anyway, because it ties in, it directly ties into his like character moment and this arc. So that to me, that seems like if they're going to, since they didn't do it before, that's the time they would do it. We'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, I'd say this is a solid 8 out of 10 episode. I really did enjoy this one. Um, one thing that they might have also not had, unless they have it at the beginning of the next episode, uh, there's a really famous panel where, like, it's Redestro crying over uh, Curious's death. And I thought it would be right there when, like, the news came to them that Curious had died. But maybe it'll be next episode. Uh, I really do hope they keep that. Um, other than that, though, I actually really like this episode. This was really good. Uh, it doesn't really. I it does improve my opinion of Toga a little bit because, like I said, in, in the in the manga, it like clearly she was a girl who just didn't fit in with what her quirk like gave her. Like it gave her the satisfaction that was definitely frowned upon in society, right? Um, and she just didn't feel like she could be herself living that normal life, right? That's sort of the basis of like, she wants to, she wants to find love. She wants to be loved. Uh, and she couldn't do it there. So she joined the league who she feels can provide that to her. So yeah, I, I think this episode definitely improved my opinion a little bit of Toga. I, again, I never hated her as a character. I just didn't really like, uh, a lot of people are mega fans of her. They love her design. They love the aesthetic of like just the blood. And I don't know, like 
it just that was just never enough for me. So I did I did enjoy this episode a lot though. It was honestly pretty good. So yeah, sorry if I didn't talk a whole lot throughout this episode. I'm still not feeling great. Um, but that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction nonetheless. And apologies again for this coming out later than normal. But uh, yeah, Sad Man's Parade next episode. Definitely my favorite, if not tied for like my favorite moment in NBA. Um, and I really hope they do it justice. I can't wait. So until next time, this has been Muddy Gazelle. Hoping you all have a muddy day. See you guys.